What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the Rockin' Rivera channel? So, won't be showing my face today because skin condition, beat up. But it was worth it because now we have gauges that will soon work once I get the right connection for it. You can see, hard to see in here. But the gauges are now all connected up except for the alternator gauge due to the fact that, well, the connector is too short for it to fit. And by the way, this is one of the new wheels and tires for the Nova. Well, not tire, but wheel. This is just for display on the car to make sure I want the red lines, and I do want the red lines. Yes. And they are torque thrust Ds. 15 by 7 for the back, 15 by 6 for the front. And I was just thinking, that's probably way too small for the back for a 400 horsepower at most at the crank Nova. Well, you're right. Eventually, I do want to get 15 by 8s, but that's not really important right now. Right now, the important thing is get on the ground and get to drive. So, these the rallies are staying on for now. For right now. But I am going to eventually put these wheels on for the final design after it's painted. And after the interior is done. Because those are the only two big things left after I get this thing to run. is paint and interior. So we're going good. I had to, heads up for everybody, I had to swap the line out from plastic to copper for the oil pressure gauge. Because the Summit gauge takes a copper one. They provide you with a plastic one, but it should be a copper one. It's, it's a weird thing when they're making it. It's supposed to take a copper line. It used to take a copper line, but then... They made it so it took a plastic line. And the plastic line doesn't fit in there perfectly. So, word of advice, always use copper line. Always use copper line. Because metal is a lot stronger than damn plastic. Still got a bunch of stuff for sale. Still trying to get rid of some stuff. Uh, I did find our set Nova seats that are black. They do need recovered, but they're a lot cheaper than the ones I got. So, but everything's moving along. Exhaust is almost ready to go. Even though it's in that box, it's almost ready to be welded together because the headers are on it. I'll just drive with open headers for a little bit and drive it onto the trailer with open headers and then take it over to Thrifty Muffler for them to finish up the exhaust. Uh, but yeah, everything's going great. So, making progress towards the Hot Wheels build. Summit Racing, where I work, actually messaged me, a private message. I can't go into detail about it, but I might... If I can get this thing done in time, I might not just go to the Hot Wheels Engine Store. I might be in the Summit Catalog. Maybe. It's a very rough possibility, but I'm going to go for it. Because that would be another big accomplishment, is to get my car as a poster in the Summit Catalog. That'd be really cool. Even if it is mostly stockish specs on a non-stock car. Because this thing originally came with a six-cylinder, three on the tree... Drums all the way around. A grandma car. Like, absolute grandma car. In butternut yellow. Bleah. So, that's the update for today. I got new wheels. Oh, also, Dr. Gas is not making the boom tubes. We are building them. We are building the NASCAR boom tubes for the exhaust setup that's over here. And I already ran one. I will post the video later today, possibly. It's not good quality, but the boom tube I tested before that my buddy Alex Alex made wound up trip wound up doubling the noise, like it doubled the decibel rating, just by putting it on an open header. It made it even louder. So that might go on the Nova. That might not. It might go for a baffled exhaust tip. Probably a baffled one, but then I'll just run it straight out the side. As long as it gives me that shriek and that race car sound when I hit the button. So, we're going good. Everything's going good. Just making slow progress. Filling you guys in whenever I can. And it's going great. The only thing, the only thing that stopped me... For a while, was I was getting discouraged. So I went over on the Datsun, and I wound up working on a new grill for that because my, my best friend Gabe is buying the Datsun. 
one of my best friends who I've known for a long time. He's buying the Dotson off me. So the Dotson 620 pickup knows Kamikaze will soon go to him. And then he's going to be working on it, and I'm going to help him work on it. And we are going to make that thing into a nice oop, make that thing into a nice little truck for him to cruise, and I can cruise with him in the Nova, and everything will be fine, and everything's gonna be awesome, and I'm excited. But working on the custom grill for that got me fat, got me fired up to work on this thing again, and gave me the confidence I needed to actually do what I needed to do, and keep learning and keep growing and keep going. So, if I didn't work on the dots in a few days ago, this thing may have sat for another week or two, maybe even longer. So I was getting so discouraged with it. But now, now I'm not getting discouraged anymore because I feel like I can actually pull this off. And now I have a goal to achieve, which is getting the Summit Catalog or even go to Hobbles Legends Tour with it all battered up and not care. Just be like, it's a, it's a project car. I am going to get the Red Line Obsessions off the top, though. That little sticker poking out there. I got to get it off because the crew's no longer around. So that's sad, but I'll I'll move on. So that's about it for today. Wow, it's six six thirty minutes already. Six whatever. Anyway, I will see you all later in the next video and give more updates on the Nova as I can. It took two weeks to get this video out, or two weeks to get this video done, because I had to deal with the tire, the wheel. And the Nova and the oil pressure gauge and all that. That was crazy. And so now I'm trying to get videos out at least every week or two. So I will see you all later. Bye.